Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of Your Love Life. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading and some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, so let's get into your reading. Just listen, if you want to get a personal reading with, um, from, well, if you have received or if you've booked personal readings with me in the past, you may continue to book. So book them. Um, I'm not taking on new personal readings from people who haven't booked with me before, but you can book with Casey. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just want to make that quick announcement so you're not takes a while for me to refund you so make sure that when you go to my website if you haven't booked with me before that you book with Casey okay just a real quick little thing here okay so you've got all right <laughs> in a nutshell um, you're not dealing with a self-absorbed narcissist anymore not today you are in healing mode um, and you um, have put the hammer down or you are putting the hammer down um, going forward. I feel Virgo, okay, let me just say this right now. Okay, if you can see this, you've got the hammer card. So this is like you're rebuilding your life, okay? Um, you're being persistent. I see persistence and I see you working really hard to rebuild, okay? And you're definitely... You know, you got your tools, everything that you need. You're in this healing place here, obviously. Healing from a heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. And you've got golden mirror here. So you might have been dealing with someone who may have been a very nar heavy narcissist traits. Um, someone who was self-absorbed. It was a one-sided relationship. Love bombing. Someone who was very selfish and just really all about themselves. And, hmm... Looks like so, whoever this person is going to be reaching out to you and you're just like, talk to the hand, I'm not listening, not dealing with it. You're hurt, you're avoiding a conversation, call a person, putting up boundaries because either you're still angry or you're just moving on, Virgo, right? Um, I don't see somebody coming back in here with a bloody stump. I just see them trying to call you and maybe like irritate you like a fly at a picnic. And I feel like, Virgo, you're... You're not having it. You're not like you're putting boundaries up. You're not dealing with selfish people. Okay. And healing from all kinds of toxicity. All right. Let me see. Oh, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> so let's see what the romance angels are, Virgo. Oh, this one really went flying. Oh, okay. Let go of control issues, allowing the situation to unfold naturally. So this is a strong message, Virgo, for you. It's basically like you're not trying to control somebody or a relationship anymore. Maybe you were trying to get someone to change their ways. You're like, mm-mm, done. Because you learn that you that you can't change other people. Your, your motto, I feel like here, is I'm never going to tell anybody else what to do. I'm going to tell other people what I'm doing. And that's all that you need to worry about. And if they don't like it, and if you tell somebody that, they are definitely going to be trying to reach out and trying to get you to change your mind pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning yeah so virgo this is pretty much like <laughs> one and done it looks like you you know you're putting yourself first you're healing your heart you're not dealing with any more crap maybe somebody you thought was a soulmate and apparently they're not and you know if you were dealing with someone who was very manipulative they may have said to you you're my soulmate <laughs> All right, let me see. What does the tarot have to say? Okay, King of Cups is here immediately. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy there. And, okay. This King of Cups is all about winning. All about being applauded, recognized. King of Cups, general, well, not generally, but it looks here like the King of Cups motive here um, is to be someone who is uh pretty much like in a victory position they they, they seek recognition um you know it's interesting because the six of wands 
can be someone I, I feel like there's like an overconfidence here this person exists solely for applaud or approval um and they need that okay and it looks like virgo you're not giving that oh look you guys here's the king of swords okay what's going on here why why is the king of swords here all right you could be there could be a connection with the king of cups and you could have a connection with the king of swords let me just give you the couple of messages that i'm picking up here okay um all right if you're dealing with the king of swords king of swords is non-committal if you're dealing with the king of cups this king of cups now they're both in the upright um but the king of cups is just seeking recognition okay wants to be paid attention to wants to be noticed wants to receive all of the good stuff um the king of swords perhaps has ghosted or is just non-committal or lives in some kind of fantasy land but as one energy it's all the same you've got someone here who is basically if we put both of these kings together male or female energy to make them one basically the energy of them is i'm not going to commit um I'm not, I live in a fantasy land. I'm not trying to commit. The only thing I want is recognition and you to see me. It's a very selfish, self-centered, give me praise, give me applause, give me the attention that I deserve and that I need for all the hard work I've put in or all the hard work that I do. <laughs> but, you know, but this is like false effort. I feel with this person, I feel like it's a lot of lip service with this phone call coming in this person being upset because I f i'm hearing uh, this person saying to you after all that i've done for you like after all i've done for you and virgo's like getting their janet jackson on like what have you done for me lately like seriously what have you done like what have you done <laughs> virgo's like you really yeah, like what do you you want a cookie for being um someone that that does things you're supposed to do in a relationship like you want extra rewards for that this person pretty much doesn't just seek that from you but from everybody it's like it's never enough here this is what i'm seeing um now let me see what else is going on here uh, yeah they're just kind of like all the effort that i've put in to this relationship um all the effort that i like what have i done and virgo's like the only thing you've done is come in and out of my life with this knight of wands energy with just the passion and the lust and this is the only thing you've been put this is the only effort you've been putting in and you've been putting in a lot of effort there but nowhere else so virgo it looks to me like like i don't know virgo is is this going to be another shit stain reading or what this feels like you're you're not you're just not dealing with it you're not dealing with selfish people or a selfish partner like no and maybe you will tell this person or um maybe you've already just said no this person is still acting a fool the fool in the reverse still acting a fool careless unprepared absent a lot okay they only come back in when you know they're gone most of the time but then when they come back in they come in with this passionate energy it's like coming in to get that that need met and it doesn't look like this person really putting in the effort to meet your needs they're trying to get their needs met right and and it's so listen we're all trying to get our needs met okay we know that right um but i feel like the the problem is that you've been meeting this person's need which their need has been to come in and have that physical pleasure and you for some of you i don't know exactly if, if if this is all of you but some of you have been meeting this person's needs and not really getting anything in return and you know what virgo you've wised up i think you've wised up okay um relationships are a give and take you know if someone's trying to get their needs met all the time you have the right to say hey what about me this person might have been like that with you in the sheets getting their need met and forgetting all about you you know or not even like offering to do that you know what i mean so it looks to me i mean that's just one example it may have happened and i don't know but the overall message is this person comes in like very careless with your heart okay and very careless they just want what they want and they want that um you know they want to be able to finish finish strong 
with a with a smoke or something and just you know lay there and be like i am so wonderful look what i've done look what i've done and virgo's laying there like what have you done <laughs> What did you, I, I could do, I could do all this by myself. What, what are you, what have you done? Like, this is not how to capture my heart. This is not how to make me look at you and say, oh, you're the one. Um, this is how I look at you and I say, well, maybe, but I don't know. You know, Virgo, I kind of feel like you're in that energy of me. <laughs> like, okay, well, you know, hey, listen up, pal. You might have this one little area covered here, but you do not have the rest covered. And that is not meeting the need of mine, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you pop in my chat and say, well, this is not my reading because all I want is the SEX. Well, that's right. It's not your reading and this isn't about you because if that's all you want, what are you doing listening to a tarot card reading? <laughs> um, so let's move on here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Tell me, all right, so what is, so this feels mostly like a lot of a past thing here as well, um, but the present is, okay, so you are showing up here as the Queen of Wands, okay, and you have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Um, wow, Virgo, right now, I feel like, you know, right now as you're listening to this reading, you're coming out like you're getting your faith back. You're coming out. I see you coming out of some isolation here. You're not you're not really like stepping back in fear or traumatized that you're not going to find love again. You're like I see you just, you know, this is okay. So let me give an example, right? This is like this is like a boxer who has just been through the first round and they got pretty beat up and they go back into their corner and now they got to strategize and figure out but they're also kind of like he hesitating like i don't know if i want to go back in there i don't know in the reverse though this is like f that i'm not letting that st i'm going in full force and i'm taking the bull by the horns and i'm taking a lead in my life and going after what i want so right now virgo you know, or as you're listening to this reading, this current energy, um, I see you being in that place. Like you're not going to let um, something that brought you down or if you got broke by something, if someone broke you or well, you were felt devastated by something, you're accepting it. You're saying, okay, that broke, that broke me. And you're healing and you're, you know, tying up your shoelaces and getting back out into the ring, right? So I feel like you're fearless. I see you here being fearless with the Queen of Wands. You're courageous and being fearless. Yes, look at you. Look, Virgo, you're like, go ahead, bring it. I got my sword right here. <laughs> and I don't feel like you're trying to attack anybody. Like you're not in defensive mode, but you've got like a very keen eye and you're protecting yourself for sure. Like you're, you're standing guard, okay? But in the sense where um, like you're going into battle, but you've got your sword drawn. Okay, whereas before I think you went into a landmine without any idea of where these mines were and you were just getting blown up here and blown up there. Okay, and I, f and I say that um, figuratively and I feel like that got you really, really hurt, really hurt. But now I feel like you've got your radar. <laughs> you know, now you're like, you know, I'm going back into that landmine, but this time I'm going to make sure that I see where all those land. I'm going to like map that out. Like I am not putting myself in positions that I'm going to get myself hurt. You always should be guarding your heart when you meet people. Always, you have to trust but verify who people are. You can't just be giving yourselves away so easily. I mean, unless you're a hippie and this is Woodstock and you're just going to be like all drugged up, flailing your arms all over the place. You don't care who grabs you. Hey, if that's how you want to live your life, go ahead. But, you know, uh, there's that sometimes you go with the flow too much, your brains are going to fall out. And I feel like don't go with the flow so damn much, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo is the one that needs to kind of bring it down a notch and relax, but not to the point. Like, don't go, don't swing the pendulum too far the other side. And I see you kind of like not doing that now. You know, you're, you know, you're being protective with who you give your heart to. Um, and you're definitely taking a lead in your life, which is great. Okay. And you're not rushing in. Yeah, look at this. Love is coming, but it's going to take a little time. Some of you might still be um, not ready just yet. 
I, I think you, you kind of know it's on the horizon, but you're not just ready to embrace love. It's You're kind of putting it on the back burner right now because some of you will still be dealing with this person where I feel like there's going to be this uh, somebody giving you some hell for saying no, for putting your foot down and saying no. And they're going to get calls, texts, emails from someone here. Look at this. Hopefully you can see it. Calls, texts, emails from someone you know, um, look at that on the phone there. Just, there's a whole lot of like, I don't know, someone yelling or being upset. <laughs> Virgo's like um, doing the sprinkler dance and <laughs> with the phone. <laughs> it's like, uh-uh. <laughs> the Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. Yeah, Virgo, you don't even care. You're like, I'm not dealing with it. Voiding this call, this person. You know, um, they're still ang they're they're either still angry or they're getting angry because you're not giving them the time of day. And you know, if this person is very selfish and used to having all kinds of accolades and applause from people, and people just kind of giving them, throwing themselves at them, and Virgo's like, it "Ain't gonna be me, not today, <laughs> no." And this person's like, "What? What?" They're so focused on you because. You're the one that I don't know if it's that you've got a, you're getting away or you're the one who's just you ain't shit you ain't nothing who do you you know like I don't I don't usually I don't ever use the word ain't but I must be channeling somebody who's saying that but you're looking at this person like why do you think you all why do you think you're all that you're not you're not all as that you think you are <laughs> you're a human being just like the rest of us so you need to like step it down a notch i feel like you're kind of like looking at this person you know but it's not in like a derogatory way it's not because you're you think you're the the ish um it's more so because somebody is challenging you to um praise them and virgo it's like no i praise god uh, you're not god and that's what i think is going that's what i think the energy is so you're definitely taking a stand to someone who's getting uh, like almost there in t like an, a sense of entitlement. Like, how dare you leave me alone? How dare you not want to talk to me? <laughs> like they're getting a little angry. Okay, future, you've got strength. Okay, let's see. Very good. This is self-love. This is unconditional love for self. Self-respect and courage. That's what I said. Right there on the Queen of Wands. Taking on the Queen of Wands energy. Being very feisty and self-assured and confident in who you are. Alright. And now you're getting some good news coming towards you. Let me see. Oh. Okay. What's going on here? Alright. Alright. Wow. Okay. So, all right. They just told me. So you're going to get a lot of messages still. This person is not going to quit. This person, unless you, you could change your phone, you might have to change your phone number. Um, I don't know. Uh, block if you, if you, um, they might find a way through though. But um, I, I just kind of feel like you've got this strength now. I don't know where you're getting it from, but you're getting the strength now. And I just feel like these messages come and you're just like seeing them go right to voicemail. Are you, you've got the world in your hands here, Virgo. So you're basically like, you know, I've got much more to look forward to. I feel like somebody's going to come in with that love bombing energy too. Like the anger doesn't work. Um, I don't know. People usually come in with love bombing first and then they get angry. But I feel like this person is going to be reactionary to um you not responding to them and then i feel like they're gonna do the this love bombing thing where um there's gonna be a lot of communication they might even try to buy you a pet i get you a little kitten or a puppy dog oh that's really low oh that is so low they'll leave a little kitten on your front doorstep or a little puppy oh and Virgo, it's like, how do you return the animal unless you're allergic? But, oh, that is low. Watch out for this. Playing on your heartstrings, Virgo. Oh, yeah. This person's going to play on your heartstrings. And then they're going to reach out and be like, did you get the puppy? Did you did you, did you you get the, the, the kitty cat that I sent for you? A little bow tie and a big I'm sorry. Virgo. <laughs> 
<gasps> Virgo. Oh, they're going to try pulling tricks out of their rabbit hat. Yes, pulling magic tricks. Yes, they're definitely going to, you know, lay it on thick with these little heartstring things. Uh, Virgo, I'm not telling you what to do, right? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull another card and I'm going to tell you that if you want to respond to that, if you like, it's going to be up to you, but I'm just letting you know what I see coming here forward with this person. Um, oh yeah. Look at them. They got a pile of tricks. Look at them. Hmm. Which one should I use first on Virgo to get Virgo back in line to get Virgo back where Virgo belongs? little oh i'm hurt or i have an injury or um can you take me to the the doctor or i have this um oh you're not gonna believe what happened or oh uh, 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 i need some help oh yeah they have got a vault full of them of these little um <laughs> strategies virgo <laughs> this reading you just can't be prepared. Don't fall for the okie doke. If you know this person is being inauthentic, if you can't sense that, then you are not fully healed and you need to get away and block and not allow this person to have any access. You might find out they get in contact with a family member. They might You might find out that they take your mother to the doctor or, or your, a family member. Um, maybe family is still friends with them. And then they're trying to play the, um, the angel. You know, what a good person I am. You might have other people telling you what a good person they are. Yeah, look, here's a car driving somewhere. I'm telling you, Virgo. Um, you need to like really be aware if you're not because I kind of feel like this energy is going to start playing out with this person's just going to be like laying it on thick. Um, just when you get strong Virgo here, just when you get yourself like I can handle it, I can take it. They're going to swoop in from a different angle and try to like, all right, show me what's Virgo. If this energy happens, what is Virgo, Virgo going to do? Mm. Okay. Oh, look. So, yeah, you're going to be teetering because this fell out kind of sideways. So you're going to be teetering. You're going to be like, you'll be steady on one foot. But if you get knocked over, you're going to fall over. You, you need both feet on the ground, Virgo, with this, which means to be like very grounded with this situation. I feel like this little thing is not going to knock you over 100%. But you're not strong, fully strong just yet so you need to be careful of this okay and i don't mean um you know if we didn't have someone who was so incredibly selfish or along the lines of like an extreme narcissist or something sure people do break up and things don't work out and you know you, someone walks away and the other person gets you know they go through a, a, a process of different emotions they can go through anger or bargaining or begging and that does happen and sometimes those situations do get healed and you know sometimes there's a bump in the in the radar and, and on the street uh, a speed bump and got to work things out but not with this type of a person not with this type this is a highly manipulative person so if you're dealing with someone like that, Virgo, get the hell out of Dodge with someone like that, okay? Because they're just going to try to reel you back in, and then they're going to toss you right back out into the water again and try to catch another fish while you're out there drowning. And then they're going to come um, and check on you and see that you're... But somehow they're going to see that, oh, looks like Virgo's not drowning. Virgo's figuring out how to swim and getting out. And then they're going to cast their net again and try to drag you guys the minute you try to get away the minute you try to get away from a person like this specifically they're going to do everything they can and is it love do you see virgo the only cups the only cup cards that are here look at this this entire reading besides the ace of cups in reverse which listen to me let me just say yeah you've got the seven of cups here which is a card of someone who has a lot of options they're non-committal they ghost a lot and then you've got the Ace of Cups in the reverse, which is someone who is lets you down, disappoints you, you know, or you feel depressed because they don't like the love never evolves. It's always kind of teetering, you know, but it never fully gets cultivated. These are the only cup cards here. And that you know what that tells me? That there is not there's no 
it's not true love it's it's true control and obsession with someone here strategy um gosh Virgo, I feel like for you, you're, you have to get your, like, you need more time, I think. Um, you've really got it like a real chess move here and, and get away if you haven't yet. And I feel like in the future, you're still going to be a little, I don't know. Um, there's something here, like, I feel like some of you might say, you know, this person knows how to get me. They know how to pull on my heartstrings. And... Um, if, if you feel like you might cave to that, then you need to get yourself in the upright. You're not there yet. You're not quite there yet. Oh, gosh. You know, like I can't with this reading. Here's the devil. There you go. That's the, that's, that's the work of the devil. That's what's coming in here. Okay. That's all I'm telling you. This, this energy of this, this reading is something else. It's addiction, greed, envy, obsession, control, sexual lust, materialism, possessiveness. Look at these chains chained to each other through all of those things I just listed. Nothing about love here. Um, all right, Virgo, look. Yeah, I feel like this is your advice here to look and see that there's more out there on the horizon for you than, than this mess. This is a mess. This is a time waster. You are you, Life is passing you by with this person who is just keeping you chained in a dungeon and coming down to throw you some scraps right before you get to the point of starvation when you're on the verge of death and they come down and they throw you some scraps so you can nibble on that to sustain you until they need you again holy shit <laughs> virgo wake up <laughs> i don't know who i'm talking to i know some of you are like i'm already awake you've got to see you've got to see and start looking past where you are you got to turn your back to this this is your advice okay you've got to see that there is hope on the horizon out there that there is something better out there or someone better who will treat you better, right? A lot of times these types of people, a lot of, you know, I know a lot of you say, why do I keep attracting these people? No, we attract all people. We attract healthy people. We attract unhealthy people. The question you need to be asking yourself is, okay, if I'm attracting all these people, why am I choosing the bad ones? Why am I choosing the unhealthy ones? Why am I choosing to stay with them? That's the question you need to ask. You're not a victim where only narcissists are coming into your life. You're not a victim. You're the one who is not shutting the door because you're not vetting these people properly. And that's a straight up truth. You are not being held at gunpoint to go with this person. They might be manipulating you, but you've got to have your wits about you. I know that I've heard some Virgos can be very flaky, much like an air sign, the Geminis, that, that Mercury thing, you got a lot going up in the head there. There's a lot of activity going on in the brain and the analysis in the head, that Mercury communication thing going on, right? It's time you got to snap out of it, Virgo, here, okay? And and ask yourself the right questions, not the, not the poor me questions, the what is it about me that even though when I find out that this person might not be what I need them to be, I'm still choosing to stay with them. What is going on with me? Why do I need to feel like, because they might be coming in with like, I, they need help, they need you to fix something, and who better to choose than a Virgo, right? Virgo's got this, but you know what? That's codependency. Okay, if, if you spot a deer with a broken leg on the side of the road and you want to help it, go for it. He's not going to reel you into a narcissistic relationship. Okay, a little cat needs a little milk or a little food, a stray cat, go for it. Help the innocent. Okay, or if you want to give somebody some help for something, that's fine. Help them. But they are adults. They got to get, they got to nurse themselves back together. Right, a perfectly normal, healthy adult. Let me just tell you. Ted Bundy was a perfectly normal walking adult. And he went around pretending that he had the broken arm and asked, prayed on women and asked them if they would help him carry his books into his car. And what did he do? What did he do? So he played that victim card. And no man should be asking a woman to help him carry something. Get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. You're a grown ass man. You can't carry something? 
well, I'm sorry, let me go see if I can find the, that guy who's over there in that store. Maybe he can come help you. You know what I mean? Like, go watch out for stuff like that, Virgo. What is with this reading? <laughs> this is someone who has no belief in a higher power either because they are the higher power, the higher font in the reverse. This person, they might pretend they might be a false prophet or a false pastor or there's someone who pretends they're very rebellious they have a very they're against authority they go against um maybe religion or they go against uh, spirituality um they really don't believe in it they don't adhere to principles they don't adhere to laws and rules okay and that might not be something that you know because they might come across as someone who plays as if like maybe they're a police officer or maybe they're in or they work in the law or the legal system or maybe they work in like some kind of religious community or something where you would think you would associate them as being a good person but that's not always the case how do you vet people you got to ask them questions like the same as if you were uh like the same as if you had a company and you were hiring someone you got to do the interviews and you got to ask the questions like you you can't just take people for the word you have you can trust but you've got to verify you like questions you know like all right well were you married before or, you know what happened with there you don't want to just give someone like a list of questions and sit down and tick off the boxes because that's like really weird build a little rapport virgo talk to people you got to ask questions don't be afraid to ask questions a lot of you are afraid to ask questions because you've been shunned for asking questions people will say oh, you ask too many questions or i'm not you know what why do you want to know that if someone does that you need to walk okay if someone pushes back and isn't gonna well what the hell are you doing here for this job if you're not going to answer the questions you approach me if you want to be here you're going to have to answer some questions because i need to know like who are you i need, i'm going to need to see some references here <laughs> you know be careful if you're you're meeting and dating people that you can't get any references from or that you don't know who these people are virgo i feel like this is a very strong specific message and it's a hundred percent a flip from yesterday as a matter of fact i wasn't even going to do a reading today right i wasn't um i delayed my plans for later um tonight which as you're listening to this i'm probably like not even here but i delayed things because for some reason i got this i heard i was listening to someone talk today on a news show and she said um pulling strings and immediately this thing went off in my head and i was like oh my god i gotta do this reading so i don't know this is very profound and i guess somebody needed to hear it if you're dealing with people like this who are just straight out selfish virgo right they're just seeking up op their opportunists okay it's an opportunist right here and i know some of you are like damn that is my person what are you holding on to someone like that for okay this person basically they're an opportunist uh, opportunistic is what i'm hearing um this person is very deliberate in what they want they offer things to you in order to get something back in other words well i'm gonna buy you a car um but you can only drive it in this area you can't go there and you can't go there right that that's their deal and it's a brand new beautiful car it might be like a i don't know a porsche or something right and this is just an example and it's kind of like oh like this person tempts they tempt you and they offer you something really awesome but there's control behind it you know um they buy you a brand new pair of very expensive say shoes white shoes and they give it to you for your birthday or they give it as a gift but then they say if you don't keep those shoes clean i'm taking them away because they're white this is how you got to clean them and then now you're walking around these new shoes and you're worried that if they're they get a scuff on them or something this this person's going to give you a hard time like what the hell is that right so if that's what you're dealing with i don't know i'm channeling someone from new york city i feel it right now if that's what's going on with you virgo out get out that's not healthy that's control there you go even if you have to temporarily separate yourself until you can get yourself on terra firma get yourself on firm ground take a vacation go on a journey this basically though overall this card is withdrawal retreat move on and abandon ship abandon ship and get back into you know loving yourself putting yourself first feeling that freedom to do what you want 
and it looks like you're doing that because you you've got the hammer here you're rebuilding and you're it looks like you're you're gonna say no but i'm just telling you you say no and this person is gonna come at you from a, a different angle and some of you might be like wait a minute they're up to something because they were never like this but some of you um, might be familiar with this because if this is an abusive thing the cycle of abuse repeats over and over it goes round and round somebody does something horrible to you you're upset they come back they apologize they give you all these gifts they say this they say that they love bomb to get you back into the cycle and once they get you back in they toss you back out into the lake again they do that whatever they do and then <clears throat> you're ready to leave and then they come back in and it's it's a terrible thing and my heart goes out to anybody who's experienced this or anyone who is in this situation um this may not be a romantic relationship this could be someone this could be someone in your family this could be someone at your work this could be a friend or somebody that you're dating uh it could be a lot of different people it could be an ex of course um you could be trying to get a divorce or going through separation now and this person could be doing this stuff you this is all about what you need to do and it looks like you're in this process here of trying to get out of this cycle so getting out of this cycle um and i'm not seeing this person doing anything else past this coming in with this you know giving gifts or uh, asking so i feel like asking for help yeah they're going to ask you for help or come in with give you some gifts like a little cute little puppy or something that you can't resist something that they know that you like and all of this would not be um a message for those of you who were not in an abusive situation with someone who is very manipulative and controlling um because understand that it's it, it's hard to tell sometimes if this person if someone is really a narcissist or not um the difference is what their intentions are and you can always tell what people's intentions are um narcissists can play hum uh hum being humble um and they can go all the distance they're great actors but i think the best way for you to really pay attention if this someone is acting or if they're being authentic is watch their body language watch their eyes um because the best actors in the world can't control <laughs> their body language they can't they think they can and they can make it seem like on screen that they're believable but they're not um anybody who has like a very strong sense about them and intuition can look at people and read people and if you have that that's great you're going to save yourself a lot of time but if you don't have that or you're not trusting yourself you need to get into that you know especially going forward all right i need a break from breathe from from talking this is crazy i just i don't know virgo i don't know what <laughs> I love giving you guys love messages, but I feel like a lot of you are dealing with these types of people. Okay, abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Remember I said yesterday, your abundance is on the other side of your restrictions and your blocks, okay? It's there. Keep going towards it. Take that leap of faith towards yourself. It's safe to make this move that you're considering. You'll be in a safe place when you do that. Um, now listen, a little caveat. If you're in a physically abusive relationship, do not ask me for advice. You need to go to the proper authorities and the proper people to help you with that situation. This is a tarot card reader here. Tarot card reading. I am not qualified uh, to help you if you are in a physically abusive relationship. And I want to say that. Do not call me for a reading or anyone that I have for this situation, what you need to do is either call 911 or you need to seek help from a social service or a family who can get you or put you in a safe place or something like that, okay? What you're dealing with here, in this reading, I'm, I'm talking to those of you who have been with someone who hasn't gotten to that level yet, and you can still, you know, get yourself out of that. Now, remember, this might not be some, this might not be a Ted Bundy, 
<clears throat> kind of person. I don't know who you're dealing with. This could be someone who's just a selfish mf'er, and you're not getting your needs met, and you need to like get away from the game because they're playing hard, manipulative games. Okay, and that's it. Very simple. They're just selfish. Okay, so you learn, master yourself, Virgo. Learn the spiritual lesson here, and the spiritual lesson is you need to put your faith back in God, and you need to put your faith back in yourself. You've got time apart and denial, okay? You Because you're in denial. Some of you might still be in some denial. And listen, I know a lot of you will say, oh, I'm not in denial. But some of you might have some reservations because I feel like this person might find a way to kind of sneak up on you with these little, you know, rescue mission things you know and then you might just be like but how could they put themselves out how could they hurt themselves like that like for me they're doing it for me uh, or how could they go to these great lengths and you think it's all truism but it's not you need to get that time apart and here's why it's not to make the person change it's never about other people you take that time away so you can heal and also so you can allow the dust to settle right the dust settles slow so in the beginning it's all foggy you can't see anything but it begins to clear and you start being able to make out the outline of things but there's still more to come okay because after you start seeing the outline of things now it's going to start dissipating even more now the colors are going to start showing okay but that's not the end you're you're slowly coming back to clarity but it's not an overnight thing. Then after the colors start showing, then the three dimensions begin to show. And now you're starting to really see things. And that's how this whole time apart and breaking away. Denial is something that you overcome slowly with time um, because you shift back into reality. You have to shift back in to reality and that's a slow kind of thing so you have to give yourself time to do that getting away from these types of relationships it's it's not because if you just cut it off real fast which in a lot of ways you should cut it off but if you cut your thought process off and not allow yourself that time to heal and make sense of everything that's happened that's when these people tend to come back into your life they sneak back in because they know the game and they know it's going to take you a while before it's going to take virgo a while before virgo comes to their senses so i'm going to pop back in before that happens so i can pull the, the wool over their eyes again right they keep you in a constant state of fog it's up to you to get yourself detached from the situation and on your own or even with other people who are positive people who are telling you the truth if every single person that you know has been telling you the same thing about this person every single one of them do you and and let's say most of them don't know each other you talk to a lot of different people you might get one or two that disagree but if the majority of people are telling you something about this person there's a very high percentage of a chance that what they're seeing is right and is true and you're not seeing it because you're in a fog so you need the rescue you need to stop rescuing this person you need the you're the one who needs the rescue you're the one who needs the help the first thing you got to do is start educating yourself you get well the first thing you got to do is get yourself out of this time apart i don't care to what measure tell the person i'm going on vacation or whatever i'm whatever make something up i don't care do whatever you can to get yourself in a safe place okay and then start educating yourself on toxic unhealthy relationships because sometimes you know there's an old saying a fish does not know it's in a fishbowl until it's out of the fishbowl and why is that because when he's out of the fishbowl he can't freaking breathe and he's like oh, what's going on what the hell it's scary it's like oh my god it, you are in the middle of a fishbowl and you have no idea you're swimming in this really rancid water once you get out of that fishbowl you're going to realize you're not in that shit anymore and it's going to be a little bit scary and um, if it's not scary it's, if anything it'll be uncomfortable because now you've shifted 
and expect that. That's part of the process of healing, to feel uncomfortable. A lot People don't want to feel uncomfortable. That's why people don't want to work out at the gym, because they don't want to be uncomfortable. Right? So we're just going to kind of make ourselves slightly uncomfortable, and we're okay with that. No, if you want change, you've got to come out of your comfort zone. If you want things to be better, if you want your life to be better, if you want things to change and be different and be healthier, you have to be uncomfortable with it. That's the message. I'm leaving it there.